Hey there guys, I'm here from TechDE.com and I'm going to be showing you how to install a lightweight desktop environment on top of your VPS. So this is going to be hev heavily um, suited for VPSs because uh, it's really light, the lightest, one of the lightest combinations I've found that gives you um, also almost a, you know, a full functionality plus that lightweight um, feeling. So it is going to use still a lot of RAM. It's not going to use gigabytes of RAM like the other um, environments however it's still going to use quite a bit of ram so uh, c at least a couple hundred megabytes of ram um i would recommend at least you know it, to be good you probably need um a little bit of even more than that but f just for that um if you just want to uh fly through this tutorial um i would recommend going to you know my blog post that i'm going to have below it has all the command all the prompts you know all that so all you have to do is go to the to the blog post and type copy and paste into your SSH client. Um, in this case, we're going to be using Putty, and you just do copy and paste, and you'll be on your way to using it. However, if you want to learn what the process, you're gonna you you might want to watch this video. So first, get a client, Putty. Um, this is a domain. I think it's the official one, so I'm just gonna download it. You don't have to install it. It's a runnable. It's a runnable. It's like a portable application. So right now, just type in your um, information and type in uh, your root and your password, so we can we can do what we got to do. So go ahead and type in your credentials. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to update everything, so we make sure that our package names are um the same for all of us. Um, so let's do sudo apt get and update. Um, that will pretty much update all their package names, and it will be good to go. Now our next thing is we actually have to download the desktop environment. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go sudo apt get uh, it's a package and I'm going to install it and uh, it's going to be called um, xfce. We're going to be using XF xfce4 on on top of uh, Ubuntu, Ubuntu um, 11.10. Uh, so this is going to give you a really good combination. Um, it's going to be real lightweight. It's not going to be that uh, heavy, you know, Unity uh, desktop environment that Ubuntu comes with. It's going to really suit your Ubuntu service. So uh, this is what we're going to do. And why don't we head and go uh, dash Y? Because we we want to accept everything. You can, or you could just press Y later for yes. But I really prefer doing this. So it's going to install right now. It's 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 going to take quite a uh, about a minute. We're just going to go ahead and sit here and settle for that. But once you reach around 60 uh, percent, I think 60, 80 uh, percent, it's gonna be, it's gonna ask you to configure uh, for your keyboard configuration, and it's gonna ask you uh, your language and all that. It's gonna automatically try to figure that out for you. Um, I think because almost everyone uses the English layout, it's gonna go ahead and recommend that, and it's pretty simple. And after that, it will just start um, uh, extracting and installing the packages and all that so as you can see right now it's downloading um, on a VPS this shouldn't take a lot of time because uh, VPS VPS's have a really fast internet connection so this is really good for that let's see how this will work out alright so it finished the downloading and right now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to config configure our keyboard configuration we're in English so I'm gonna press enter and our layout is enter they automatically find that out now it's kind of like installing everything so we're gonna we'll go ahead and wait all right so it's done with the installation right now and what we're gonna do next is that we're gonna install the type VNC server sudo apt get install uh, type VNC server okay so that's that make sure you updated or it might not work now wh what's gonna happen is we're gonna have to um, start the VNC server so it creates a file so we're just gonna VNC server so you can tell you put a password in make a simple password um just type in any password a uh, quick tip make sure it's uh, not more than eight characters i think or it's going to kind of like make it uh it's going to be hard because different clients and all that so try not to go over eight characters at least that's what i do okay no for view only um it created the X startup. That's really nice because we're going to use that right now. 
let's go ahead and kill the VNC server. So we're going to do VNC server, kill, we want to kill one, and it's going to be at port 1, which is the default one we just created. So just go ahead and enter that, kill it. So let's get, um, just make sure if you already have, even if you already have it, just go ahead and do this, make sure you do. sudo apt get um, install nano, because we want to edit the file, so um, it, we want it to um, correlate with our desktop environment. So um, in order to get that file editing program, we're going to have to install nano. I, as you can see, I already have it. So um, let's go ahead and use nano. Um, we're going to edit that root.vnc um, x startup. And it's, uh, as you can see, it is right up there. Um, and right here, we're gonna have we're gonna have to add XFCE. So why, let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're gonna change it since we downloaded XFCE four. We're gonna write at start XFCE four, and then to end the line or to to do this, we're just gonna add that and symbol. Start XFCE four, and then the and symbol, and then. Control X to, and then it's going to tell you, are you sure you want to save? And Y for yes, and then press enter to save in this, to re uh, replace that file. Now that we've replaced the file, you can simply um, uh, start another server, VNC server. Um, you can start it at your own port if you want, uh, but let's just get VNC server. So it started one at one. Uh, this isn't. This is just a name. But it, whatever your IP is at one. So just go and get your VNC client. Preferably, I use Type VNC. You can use the VNC thing or whatever else you want. But I use Type VNC. All right. So right now, what you're gonna have to do is put your IP address um, colon one or whatever port it is showing right here. So in this case, it's it's gonna be um, colon one because the port's number one. They give you the example right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my um, information in and we'll see how it works. Alright, so I'm in right now and it's going to give me information. Be sure not to click uh, anything here. So you want to use the default configuration. Um, that's I mean, you could do this and just add stuff on your own, but no, uh, this makes it way easier. I'm just going to use default configuration. It pops out for um, Windows. And I think right now it's probably using around 250 MB of RAM, 200, somewhere around there. 250 MB to 300 probably. But uh, it's real, real fast, real, real light. As you can see, like I can open my trash, instantly open all that. So, um, and if you do want to add, um, if you want to add like Firefox, I'm gonna go ahead and show you just a quick um, extra I'm gonna do on this. So you can do sudo apt get install Firefox. Um, Y for yes, and. I usually do dash y instead of doing the other thing uh, after because it's it's pretty a little bit quicker. Anyway, so this is it. Your file system, your home, root. Oh, you're you're in root right now. Um, but you know, real quick, you can as I said, you can change a port. So that's it. You you have Firefox. Um. If you want any other um, combinations like uh, Xbuntu or anything else, just hit me up and I'll probably make a video of that too. So, and if you want uh, J Java on this, because I know most of you are going to want Java, um, my blog link will have a, uh, a method to get that Java, the Oracle, a filter Oracle Java, onto your um, system via uh, the SSH. So, um, that being said, um, just it. Um, it I pretty much completed this video, and if you want that Java, go to the blog post, and it will show you how to not get the Open JDK, but instead get the Oracle version, the, the Java, uh, the or the real deal, the original it's by Sun, whatever. So just get that. Um, that one works with pretty much most of the stuff you're pretty gonna do on a VPS, such as the server programs, all that good stuff. Pretty much you, what you wanted, pretty much what you did this in order to do on the VPS. You you most likely want to run a Java application. So that completes everything. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any other requests, um, I know this wasn't per request. I haven't really got one request yet, so it'll be really nice to see my first request. So um, thanks for watching and stay tuned.